I've been, um, I've been in Flash. Uh, if it wasn't for Flash, we wouldn't be here. My business wouldn't be here. So I just thought I'd uh, come out again and just meet all of you. You know, introduce you guys what we do. Um, we're by any warrior. We're an organization that teaches Filipino martial arts for the sake of self growth, uh, spiritual growth, mental growth, and physical uh, empowerment. Okay. In fact, when I first started teaching by any warrior, I was teaching people your age. I was your age. Uh, my first talk was actually right here, uh, 2005 and uh, I taught a bunch of kids your age. So this goes way back at the Flash, the history of Bionic Warrior, the relationship to the Flash is always going to be there. So let's go over the history a little bit, all right? So the uh, Philippine martial arts date back 2,000 plus years, okay? It goes all the way back to the Sri Vijayan Empire, uh, succeeded later on by the Majapahit Empire. The Majapahit Empire, does anyone know what that is? Anyone follow the history? All right, Majapahit Empire was an empire that ran all the way throughout Southeast Asia, so it included Thailand, the Philippines, uh, Indonesia, Singapore, Myanmar, formerly Burma, okay, and the one thing that unified all these countries were the warriors, okay, and the warriors of these countries, uh, which are now separate countries, they're all in the one empire originally, uh, these individuals specialized in the use of blades, all right, uh, longer blades, uh, swords up to 42 inches in length, all the way to small daggers, all right. Uh, the Filipinos tended to gravitate towards a little more than the others. Until the late 1800s, that a group called the Katipunan, does anyone know what the Katipunan was? All right, the Katipunan were, the, uh, were uh, a group of men, okay, they were fraternity, and that's what Katipunan means, fr fraternity, brotherhood. They were a group of men that decided to start the revolt against, Sp against Spain uh, by armed conflict. But these men didn't, and the way they fought back, they didn't have guns, so they had blades. So they fought with bolo knives, okay, which I have on my back. All right, I don't want to hit anybody back here, so be very careful with drawing this blade. Okay, so the idea is they were fighting with blades about this big. All right, so the idea is that they had to fight Spanish cannons, firearms, muskets with this, which is why the Filipino martial arts to this day are regarded as the number one weapon system in the world, even among today's military guys. They're using this material because it's the only weapon system that you'll see that's still being, that, that's been used in the last 100 years. Okay. Uh, so there's a lot of trade routes going into the Philippines, and a lot of these guys brought their martial arts into there. You had the Persians coming in there, bringing their sword work. You had the Spanish bringing in their fencing. So there is a melting pot, but the base of it all is a Malay blade system. These weapons really quick, okay? So this is a 20-inch bolo knife, and that's a standard sword trainer. Uh, these are both Matian Zakali. The proper way to do that would be to take it on the flat of the blade. Okay, right there. Okay, so give me an angle one. Boom, right there. Okay, give me an angle two. Bang. Okay, so what I want to do is make sure that with this particular blade, over here. Okay, with this particular blade, I can do my point of reflection, sit on the flat and come back, okay? Now, one of my favorite moves to do is off that angle one, is to drop this on the hand and thrust in. Here, can I the hand, he backs up, I pass him, I check, he blocks, and I have a knee in the side of the head, as hard as I can. That's what I'm doing to the side of his head. All right, when I hit him here, I'm going to come this way, lock him up onto the tricep. All right, now, bring him down this way. Okay, now, or I can bring him here into the throw. Hit him right there. Hits me in the head. Bam, smash, hits me in the head. Bam, smash, okay? Okay, typically the uh, Spanish sword and dagger would be point on right here, all right? It was, it was really well practiced among the uh, priests and the friars of the Spanish, all right? And if you'd be able to find any priest that here, as you can see, it's a little more scientific coming in. Okay, so go here, one, two, three, four, okay, five. I thrust it now. He's gonna parry this as well. As soon as he parries this, I'm going to come up, redirect, cut the throw. <laughs> All right? Once I'm here, I get thrust in. Oh, oh, nice. 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 Down, bam, and I strip. Okay, from here, we can go into the takedown this way. That's Filipino grappling. Okay, from here, I turn this into him. All right? So, Filipino grappling is not, I'll keep hyperextending him. <laughs> hyperextending until he taps out. I'm going to break his arm so I can put that blade back into him. If he's feeding me, okay, one of the things that he can do to me here is when he's thrusting, okay, thrust in, we have this. Okay, so when he's in here, boom, I just take straight to the thrust. I hit the voice box, I come around, I slash, I strip, and I thrust again. Now this is the reason why Sticking Dagger was made. Sticking Dagger was developed to fight guys with blades like this. So let's take that sequence again. The guys advance again. I take the one, boom, there's my thrust, that's my entry, that's my entry, and I can move to the next person. Even better. All right. At this position, I have to be super fast. My hand has to move faster than my head, okay? It has to move faster. All right, we're going to have to lock this up. Oh, man, look at that. Oh. <laughs> so, <laughs> you going to pick it up? That's all right. If you're 25 years old or older, and you're still getting into the fights, actually, no, if you're 23 years old, you're still getting into the fights, there's something wrong. 
So you got to think about what you're fighting for. Are you fighting for yourself, your ego, someone called you a chink on the street or something like that? Or are you fighting because of something higher than yourself and protecting someone you care about? And that brings me to the next topic is I'm going to end on this. You guys see all this really cool stuff. And a lot of people watch it. People are really saying, oh, why is he teaching this stuff? We call this Bionic Warrior for a reason. Bionic Warrior, does anyone know what the word Bionic means? Yeah. Hero. The goblet, right? Uh, I'm trying to teach these guys to live stronger, more courageous lives through Filipino martial arts because if you're Filipino, especially if you're Filipino, someone had to kill someone to make sure that you're here. I think that very, very seriously. You got to think about that. The reason why you're here today is because someone back in your ancestry, maybe not your dad, but someone way back there in time, fought and killed to make sure that your family lived on, and they used this. They were fighting using the system that I just showed you to keep you guys here. And they did it as a means to protect their tribe, the people that they loved, their women, their children. That's what it's about. That's why we call it Bionic Warrior. Is that no matter what challenge you face, you'll always overcome it. No matter how hard that test might seem, no matter how hard your finals might be, no matter how, what kind of crap that person across the room is giving you, if you're scared to talk to that girl or guy across the room that you like, whatever, okay, that's the battle. And everyone here is fighting that battle. Everyone here is fighting something, and you guys are nodding your heads. Everyone here is fighting something. It could be with your family, it could be with your girlfriend, your boyfriend, it could be with your schoolwork, it could be anything. It could be with money, okay? We're all fighting a battle. Because of that, we're all warriors in this room. And if you're a Filipino, you're definitely a warrior because, again, someone had to kill someone in your bloodline to make sure you were here.